Good evening, uh, good evening, people. Evening, everybody. Evening, evening, evening. Right. Uh, good evening, people. Good evening, everybody. Uh, I greet you all in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, that I'll be going live. I'll be going live in a in a in a bit, uh, just to. This is not our official. Um, this is not our official. Um, this is not the official live broadcast that I'm doing, but. Um, as you all know that from time to time i always go live on my account as you know this is my personal account and um tomorrow i'll be live on my facebook page uh, as we'll be talking about the the false church versus the the true church tomorrow i'll be live uh, on my um, official facebook page uh, which is j israel senior and i'll be talking about the true church uh, in the false church so but tonight i just want to talk about a few things i just want to talk about a few things tonight and um just uh bring to to your knowledge you know just uh one or two things as we are walking this journey together and as we are um, uh, uh, walking this journey together i want everybody to be um to be very much aware of um uh, what is happening? What is going on? What's 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 what? Who's where? Who's how? And 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 stuff like that. So, you'll forgive me for the cap, and um, you'll forgive me for 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 the cap that I'm wearing. Uh, you'll forgive me for the cap that I'm wearing. Is because I haven't had um, my barber will only be coming to um, give me a haircut tomorrow. So that's why I'm wearing a cap like this. But uh, nevertheless, I decided to say uh, I'll still go live. That is why even on the other broadcast that I did with uh, with Solomon, I was also wearing a cap as well. Uh, it's because my hair is not looking too good. Uh, and my beard also is not, you know, is not properly trimmed. So that's why I'm wearing a cap, by the way. Um, I saw somebody commenting and saying, oh, cap. Yeah, that's why I'm wearing a cap so yeah good evening everyone i greet you all i see our viewer is watching god bless you our viewer it's good to see you um it's good to see precious god bless you uh, it's good to see everyone who's joining in from wherever you might be uh, joining in from i greet you all in the name of jesus christ i see you uh marshmallows you you need to change your your name uh, because that that, that name uh, sounds doesn't sound good <laughs> Uh, marshmallows may, may maybe find um a different name you know somebody says turn back the cap no thank you i will not do that i won't turn back the cap it's fine as it is <laughs> yeah the cap is hiding a lot of wisdom david sean so i'm waiting for people to come to, uh, to, to i'm waiting for people to come through and as i'm waiting for people to come through um I'll be I want you to know that um I'll be coming live on this uh on this account you know from time to time uh, anytime I want to address something shallow anything I want to address something um that uh needs my 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 attention as a matter of agency I'll be coming to address it on this um on this uh account which is my personal account so then for our for our main main services we are going to be meeting on my official uh facebook page which is uh j israel senior so kindly share the broadcast quickly uh share the broadcast quickly invite your friend take your friend in jesus name i see helen rags is also watching uh god bless you god bless you god bless you uh nobantu faku i also see you uh, it's good to see you. Uh, yeah, it's good to see you. So, yeah. I see Apostle, Apostle Branya, Lilian Branya, watching all the way from Zimbabwe. It's good to see you, woman of God. Uh, it's good to see you. May God bless you and bless the work that you are doing um, right there in Zimbabwe, in Blawayo. 
may the lord bless you senior gift uh, god bless you it's good to see you yeah mm -hmm. so as as you all know that um as you all know that uh, i've 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 been a i embarked on this journey uh, which uh, seems to be um yielding so much fruit right now and uh, uh, a lot of people seem to be uh, talking about it right now but it is a journey that i embarked on a, a very long time ago i've been on this journey for close to a year and a half now and um, as i've been uh, walking uh, this journey a lot has happened a lot has been happening so many people have been coming with uh, a lot of different questions a lot of people have been coming through uh, with uh, different speculations, different assumptions, and all that. But see, um, everyone is entitled uh, to an opinion. So I will not um, a, 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 a be offended by anybody's opinion because we all have opinions about stuff and we all have opinions about different things. But tonight, I just want to address something very quickly. I, I posted something on my on my facebook account i posted something uh, this i think it was this afternoon if i'm not mistaken i posted a message uh, a, a message that has been circulating in johannesburg you know in in that church there in santon uh, i posted a message i actually received that message from close to five people uh, this morning and they were saying to me Men of God, uh, did you know that there's a message of this sort that is circulating? Um, you know, the, the Johannesburg pastor and together with the leaders and, uh, and, and, and all the people, that they are circulating this, uh, this message. Uh, they are circulating this message in their, in their WhatsApp groups, in their WhatsApp uh, platforms and everything. Uh, and the mess in, in that message, uh, they were saying, they were saying that they were actually warning their people. It was like a spiritual warning, and it, it it's so, it's so it's so confusing, you know. Uh, it it's so confusing, and it is so um, it's so heartbreaking, you know. That um, it, it's so heartbreaking to see uh, people who claim to be spiritual spiritualizing something of that sort, coming up with. Uh, all sorts of uh, spiritual manipulative uh, messages just to try and keep uh, people uh, uh, together and just to try and act as if um, everything is fine and just to try and act as if um, they are not seeing and hearing what is happening. So the message uh, was like, um, a, you know, as you know that uh, J. Israel, you know, uh, has been doing this and that. I want you to know that uh, J. Israel is working with some people in very high places, which I'm, I'm, I'm not aware of. And J. Israel is working with uh, a lot of pastors, a, a, a lot of uh, people who's working, uh, who are working with J. Israel to do what J. Israel is doing. Because in their heads, in their heads, uh, you know, in their, in their empty heads, I'll, I'll, call, I'll, I'll call them empty heads. In their empty heads, they probably think, uh, me coming out with this exposure and coming out with all these things that I'm coming out to speak, uh, they think somebody is paying me to um, to come out and you know expose everything that I'm exposing. But look, uh, uh, look, um, look at this. There is no way you can speak the truth without exposing a lie, you know, because speaking the truth on its own is exposing a lie. So you cannot be claiming to be preaching the gospel of truth and preaching the, the the true message of Jesus Christ without exposing a lie. You know, personally, like I said, you know, in the past, I, I, I got tired, I got tired of, I got tired of living a lie. I got tired of living this life that I was living. I got tired of everything, you know. And when I got tired of everything, I decided to leave. And when I decided to leave, I focused on my 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 salvation with christ you know i focused on my my salvation i focused on my spiritual life i focused more on and tell you what i i was dead spiritually spiritually i was dead in as much as i was 
in this church uh, 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 with this man of God uh, uh, leading a church at the same time, you know, following this man of God, spending time with him. I'm talking about uh, the Johannesburg pastor, you know, the the one who uh, resurrected uh, Lazarus uh, sometime last uh, last of last year, I think. So I'm 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 in this place, and this is a place where. I'm supposed to be growing spiritually, you know, I'm supposed to be growing spiritually, but I was not, I was not growing. And then I left. So now I'm speaking my truth. And in the process of me speaking my truth, a lot of people, you know, from that side, you know, um, we have been manipulated. Uh, people have been manipulated. People have been um, brainwashed into 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 believing a lie i'm i'm telling you it's sad it is very sad and i'm going to address uh, 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 these things tonight on this broadcast without fear because I, i'm personally I'm, I'm at a place where i i don't fear anybody i do not fear no one i don't fear anybody i i'm not afraid of anybody i'm not afraid of anything you know so they circulated a message that said that i am um I'm antichrist. I'm antichrist. I'm being used by the devil to do what I'm doing. I actually loved it, that part. And um, I am also, a, I am also um, working with people in high places, you know, to try and bring them down because, um, you know, God is doing a, a good thing in the, you know, in that pastor's uh, life and uh, what God is doing there, da, 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 da is a is a good thing and uh pastors have tried to bring him down but they can't bring him down so right now i'm coming out uh, and and they are using me you know first and foremost before i even uh, I, I finish the message there was one part that really caught my attention one part of the message that really caught my attention that they are circulating you know from one person to the next one person to the next you see so this part <laughs> i actually loved I, I really loved so hard when i was reading that part there's a part where they were saying actually j israel is the one who orchestrated the uh, uh sorry the the resurrection stunt is the one who orchestrated the resurrection stunt and um a, 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 after he orchestrated the resurrection stunt, he actually wanted, he, uh, uh, he was trying to bring down the men of God, bring down the pastor and uh, bring down the church and stuff like that. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on. Just, just hold it right there. You know, hold it right there before, before you circulate your lies, before you, you put me in things that have got nothing to do with me. Listen, I'm, I'm not afraid of uh, 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 anything, you know. I'm not afraid of anybody. <laughs> that, that's one thing that uh, I, I must always put out there. You can call me Antichrist. You can call me whatever you want to call me. But the truth remains. Your pastor is a fake pastor, you know. I'm talking about this Johannesburg pastor. He's not a man of God. He's a fake pastor. And wherever he is, if he's watching this video right now, I know he's probably watching with a fake account, you know probably watching right now with a fake account if you are watching this video you are not a man of god you are a fake man of god don't put me in your things you know do not put me in your things i i i, I did not have anything to do with your resurrection uh, uh, stunt <laughs> you see it, 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 let's let's take it bit by bit let's take it bit by bit a coffin was brought to the church okay a coffin was brought to the church. After the coffin was brought to the church, you men of God. Okay. By the way, we have decided to stop calling you guys men of God. You together with your uh, cohorts that you are, uh, 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 a, 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 you know, in friendship with, in, 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 in a friendship of denial with, you know, you are in denial friendship. You and the Pretoria, the UK, and all the other so-called prophets and so-called pastors uh, uh, everywhere. Now look at this. Now you, uh, 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 Mister, you, you, Mister, you, you, you are a charlatan. You are not a man of God. You are a charlatan. You are a thief. You know, you are a thief and a robber. You, you, you. When when the coffin was brought to the church, you went on 
to uh, open the coffin and you did your things like this with your hands. I don't know what you were doing there, you know. He did things like this with his hands, you know, and he started speaking in tongues. Roko zoto, ta ta, you know. So if you were speaking in tongues and if you are a true man of God, why did you not see that this is a lie and somebody is trying to bring you down? Uh, come on, man. <laughs> you know, uh, why didn't you see that this is a lie? Somebody is trying to... Um, a, a, a somebody is trying to bring you down. Why did you not see that? You see, why did you not see that? You know, don't, 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 don't play, don't play that game because it's a very dangerous game. And, and, and you are actually uh, digging a, a, a very long grave for yourselves. You see, so you raised the man, the man, you know, uh, you, that you raised, you raised the man, the man came back to life, supposedly came back to life wearing a white suit with a phone in his pocket. I don't know who he was going to call wherever he was going. Maybe he was going to give you a call in heaven or in hell and tell you that, listen, I arrived safe. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm just saying, you know, it's actually very funny when I was reading this message. They are circulating this message to innocent people. They are innocent people who know nothing about this thing. And they see, they hear that J. Israel is attacking the church. But they don't know that J. Israel is not attacking the church. J. Israel is speaking the truth. J. Israel is exposing the truth. J. Israel is coming with, uh, with some, you know, uh, uh, some facts, you know. These are facts. These are things that are happening, you know. These are things that are happening. These are things that are going on. So... I see a lot of people coming to me saying, oh, no, preach the, preach the gospel. Preach. You cannot preach the gospel without exposing evil. You cannot preach the gospel without exposing evil. That is number one. You cannot speak the truth without exposing a lie. That is number two. You know, so I want everybody to understand that part, that uh, there is nobody who can expose, uh, who can speak the truth without exposing a lie. So, Everything that I'm doing, I believe that God is using me. I believe that God is using me to do everything that I'm doing right now. And I just want to put it on record. After the man was uh, 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 resurrected, uh, who cooked for him? Let's, let's start from there. If you're saying that I'm the one who... Uh, if you're saying that I'm the one who... <laughs> Who, 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 who orchestrated everything, why did you cook for him? Why did you give him rice, you know? Why did you give him rice? And I see their minions. I see their, their shallow-minded minions always coming to my account, coming to my uh, page, coming to post things on my account and coming to uh, defend things that they don't know. Uh, let, let me just warn you. All these uh, uh, minions, you know, these ads, who always come here to my account, uh, you know, speaking things that you don't know, trying to defend things you don't know. You know, wh why do you think that your pastor is quiet? Okay, he is quiet because he knows the truth. He will never come out to, uh, 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 to attack what I'm saying. He will never come out to speak against what I'm saying because he knows that I'm speaking the truth, you know. And tell you what, I've been in touch with some of the pastors from that church, from that cult. I've been in touch over the past few days with some of the pastors who are still there right now, who are still there right now, who are still saving there right now, in as much as they are saving there right now, they know the truth, you know? They know the truth, and they, 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 they are calling me to say, man of God, we really thank God for what you are doing, you know? Uh, these things have been happening for a very long time. We didn't know what to do with this. We didn't know what, uh, uh, how, to, uh, how to handle uh, uh, such issues. You know, thank you so much for exposing all these things. You know, I believe that you are saving a lot of people. And now... Your own pastors are calling me to, to say thank you. And some of these uh, shallow-minded uh, fools, you know, we have never at any point sat down with, that, uh, uh, with, with the resurrection pastor. They've never sat down with him. They don't, they've never even touched his hand, you know. I'm giving you first-hand information of things that uh, go down, uh, 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 things that go down, things that you don't know. You understand? And just a few, uh, uh, I think two days ago, one of the bishops, one of the bishops, uh, one short bishop like that, who's been uh, probably sleeping with the whole church, sleeping with a lot of girls. You know, this is not even uh, 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 
an accusation but i talk to the girls that he's been abusing you know I, they, they inbox me they come for counseling they are seeking help they, they they don't know how to go about this just yesterday and the day before yesterday one of the girls um uh, uh, that uh, that bishop uh, 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 was was involved with is actually exposing him right now on Facebook, you know, and saying things, and the whole church is attacking him. Even women, what's wrong with women? What's wrong with women who are who, 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 are, 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 who attend, you know, these cults? I don't understand how these women think. You are a woman, and a woman comes out to say this uh, uh, man of God or this so-called man of God has been abusing me, has been doing this to me. And then you see this, oh Jesus, this is, this is a disgrace. This is a disgrace to, to womanhood. Some of these women are a disgrace to womanhood. You don't deserve to be called women, you know? You don't have, you don't have respect for the crown of women that you carry. This is a woman who's coming out to say, guys, I was abused. This is the proof. I have the pictures with this guy. You know, we took pictures together. These are the uh, 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 things that I have on this guy. You know, even some of the uh, uh, pastors, some of the uh, ministers and the bishops who are serving in that church are also confirming with this lady to say, listen, we know what you're doing with the bishop, but please just take it easy. Now things have gone south. Uh, things have gone south. This lady is coming out. She's bleeding on social media. Some of the women who are still trapped in this cult, you know, in this Johannesburg cult, in this Santin cult, some of these women, I see the woman I'm talking about. She's right here on uh, 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 Facebook right now. I, I can see her. She just joined in. Will, uh, hopefully, uh, I'll invite her on this broadcast just to speak to her. This is nonsense, man. This nonsense that is happening in the church must come to an end, you know? If nobody speaks out the way that I'm speaking out, I'm telling you that no one is going to speak out about these things. Because almost everybody that I've been talking to about these things, they are all afraid. They are afraid of speaking out. They are afraid of coming out to speak the way that I am. Some are asking me, men of God, are you sure you really want to talk about this? Hell yes, I'm sure I want to talk about this. Okay. I definitely want to talk about this and I'm not going to stop talking about this. You see, these women, these women who are locked up in this uh, uh, so-called uh, 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 prophetic cults, you know, they don't have a conscience. This is one of your own was coming out, bleeding on social media. I saw another girl who was abused again here in Deben. She came out. Uh, she was raped by a pastor, uh, by a charlatan. He's not a pastor. In fact, he was raped by a charlatan. He was raped by a, 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 a jackal, a thief and a robber right here in Deben. She came out speaking out to say, this is what happened to me. And then you see these women coming out, you know. You see those women coming out to say, oh no, well, what were you doing with the man of God? The man of God is also, uh, 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 is also human. I ask myself so many times, I ask myself this question so many times, that one is a mistake, two is a mistake, okay? We, 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 we are not running away from the fact that people make mistakes, okay? People make, uh, people make mistakes. People, you know, mistakes are common. We are people. But why don't you, why don't you have the conscience, you know, to, 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 to reach out to these people? Apologize if possible. If you are a man of God, why do you have to force yourself on a woman? Why do you have to force yourself on if, if a woman doesn't want a no is a no, you know? A no is a no. If a woman says, don't touch me, don't touch if a woman says, I don't want to have sex, it's a, it's a no. She, she, she's trying to say, I'm not going to have sex, you know. This is, is, is not even an issue of men of God or whatnot, but this issue of rape, it has been going on for a very long time. It is still going on even right now. Uh, so if nobody speaks out, who's going to speak out? Because if Solomon comes out and he begins to speak about these things, people will say, oh no, Solomon is speaking because he is angry, he is bitter, he is this. But uh, uh, I'm, I'm speaking out. I'm coming out and I'm speaking out and I'm saying, guys, this is what goes down in these places. This is what happens in these places. You know, I'm not bitter. I'm not, a, I'm, I'm not a jealous of anything. How can I be jealous of a fake prophet? How can I be jealous of somebody who's not anointed by God? How can I be jealous of somebody who does not carry anointing? How can I be jealous of somebody who claims to be what he is not? 
You know? How can I be jealous of a man who goes out there, fakes humility, fakes humility when he speaks, you will think this man is humble. I'm telling you, when I met him for the first time, I thought this man is very humble. You see? Met him for the first time, I thought, oh Lord, this man is very humble. There's no humility. First things first, he, he fakes humility. Fakes humility, fakes prophecies, fakes miracles. The tongues are fake. The tongues are fake. The humility is fake. The prophecies are fake. The miracles are fake. So what is real? What is real? And there is thousands of people who have been brainwashed to believe in this man. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you, my name is Jay Israel. And I'm not going to stop at anything. Nothing this year, this year is a great year. This is, you remember that prophecy that another charlatan gave? That prophecy that another uh, uh, jackal gave where he was saying 2020, I mean May, I mean uh, uh, April is going to be a great year. He, he was talking about this is the greatness of the year. This is the greatness of the year. Now look at this. Uh, I'm seeing the lady here. Her name is Malaika. I'm seeing her right now. She's uh, commenting. Malaika is one of the people who used to attack me on social media when I started this movement, when I, I started preaching about these things, you know? She even posted just a few weeks ago, I think two weeks or so ago, two or three weeks ago, you see? Two or three weeks ago, she posted a video of that uh, 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 Santin, a uh, charlatan. She posted a video of that uh, Santin, a uh, 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 jackal. And in that video... The, 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 that uh, man there was, uh, um, you know, speaking things about miracles and stuff like that. And then um, uh, Malaika posted the video. And then she was actually praising the guy and saying, oh, no, he's a man of God. He's a man of God. Oh, he's a man of God. But, but now look, look what has happened. Look what has happened to, to you, Malaika. I, I'm, I'm seeing you're watching. Look what has happened to you. When I began to speak, you see, that, that's Malaika, they're confirming that very true, I attacked you for sure. Because I was speaking, you know, I was speaking about these things, I was speaking out about this stuff. You know, this is reality, this is happening. This is happening. Let me actually add Malaika right now. Let me add Malaika right now. These things are happening. They're not making these things up, you know. I'm too old to be making these things up. I'm too, I'm too old, you know. To be to be coming up with uh, these funny things like this, Malaika, please get ready. I want to add you on this uh, uh, live broadcast so that we we talk about this nonsense that is happening in the body of Christ. This year, this year they will regret the day they ever met J Israel in their lives. This year they will regret the day that they ever uh, uh, associated themselves with me. All the charlatans and false prophets that have ever been associated with me at any point, this year they are going to regret. This year, they are going to curse the day I was born, I'm telling you. Because I'm, I'm a fearless man. I fear nothing, you know. I fear nothing. I fear nobody and I fear nothing. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Marshmallows, I'm too old. I'm too old. I see somebody says, is the London pastor fake? Yeah, he's fake. The London pastor is very fake. The London pastor is very fake. The only thing that he knows is to come out and speak big words, you know, trying, uh, uh, claiming to be preaching deep revelations. Uh, those are all messages that he Googles on, he, he goes there, he takes uh, Pastor Chris messages, he comes there, he will begin to uh, redistribute them in his own way. So anybody who would like to hear from the uh, London false prophet, they better just go and listen to Pastor Chris messages because all the messages, they come from him. So... He's fake. He's fake. I'm not talking nonsense. I'm not talking things that I've heard. I'm talking first-hand information, you know. First-hand information. I'm talking about a man I invited to my church uh, when I was still in East London. And he came there. He prophesied things uh, 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 that he was, uh, information that he was given to one of his boys that he came to uh, uh, East London with. So I'm not just speaking nonsense here. I'm speaking what I know. I saw some other people, uh, you know, came out the other day and they were um uh, they come out they came out the other day and they were saying oh why are you saying tb joshua is fake that time they've never been to nigeria i've been to nigeria i've been to a synagogue church of all nations you know i saw a video they were circulating the other day they are this young these young wannabe pastors these young wannabe prophets you know 
They have never been to Nigeria. They have never been to that place. Uh, 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 I've been there, you know. I've been there. I've, I've, I've witnessed things that I've witnessed firsthand. I traveled to Nigeria, I think 2013 uh, uh, or somewhere there, 2013 or somewhere there, I can't remember. Yeah. It's there on my passport. If you want proof, I can bring the, uh, 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 the visa and put it on the screen that I used to travel to Nigeria. And, so, and all of you who are busy coming out and attacking me, saying, how can you at attack the senior prophet? Senior prophet, my foot. What senior prophet are you talking about? What senior prophet are you talking about? Coming out, oh no, how can you be attacking the senior prophet and you're saying he's fake? You have never met him. You don't even have a, you don't even have a cent to, 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 to catch a flight and go to Nigeria. And you're busy defending a man you have never met. Busy defending a man that you don't know. Same applies with everybody who's defending this charlatan from Johannesburg. You know? Everybody who's defending this, uh, a fake, uh, this fake pastor from Johannesburg, from Santin. You have never met him. You have never seen him anywhere. But you come online. You come, you defend him. After you are done defending him on social media, you go back to your house. You don't even have food to eat. You don't even have uh, water. You don't even have uh, anything to drink. You've got nothing. You've got no scent in your, in your wallet. But you are busy defending a man who is busy scamming, uh, scamming your, your, your fellow brothers and sisters, scamming your, 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 your fellow uh, 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 people, a uh, uh, countrymen. And because of your foolishness, you are coming out and speaking nonsense. This year, I will not be uh, intimidated by nothing or intimidated by nobody. You see? Many people thought, oh, no, he's, 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 he's no, he's, he, you know, Jay Israel, he doesn't like speaking me. <laughs> this year, you will you, you know that the day that you decide to, uh, in, 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 our, in, our, in our language, in our language, there's a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a saying or a statement that says, Right. It simply means, translated back to English, uh, 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 the day you decide to eat a dog, make sure that you go for the pit bull. Don't just eat uh, puppies. If you decide to eat a dog, make sure that you eat the police dog. The most dangerous one, that's the one you must eat. That is exactly what I'm doing right now. I'm going for the big dogs. The big dogs in the game. This is they call this a game. Right. They call this a game. This is they call this this ministry, this church, everything that you see. This is just business, you know. This is business. This is just business. This is just business that you see. Everybody going to church. And I feel pity for all these minions that you see coming on, on social media and defending these people without uh, uh, any any uh, 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 any information whatsoever. You know, you can't. You can't be doing that. You can't be defending things you don't know. You can't be defending people you don't know. Do you know how many girls that I'm talking to right now that were abused by these uh, uh, charlatans? Do you know how many girls were raped, sexually assaulted by these charlatans that I'm talking about? And you're out here, you're even a woman, you've got no shame. You've got no shame, you are a woman, and you are busy on social media. Oh no, leave Papa alone, leave Papa alone, you. You can't even post your own biological father on Facebook. You can't even post your own biological uh, uh, father just to wish him happy, happy Father's Day. But what you do, you want to take a picture of a papa that you have never met, a papa who will never give you food, and you want to be posting him on social media, coming to defending uh, and say, no, this is my papa, touch not the anointed ones, touch not my papa. Hey, I'm not playing this year. I'm not here to play games. I'm not here to play games. I'm here for serious business, you know? I'm here for serious business. This year, it's either you repent or you perish. And I'm addressing all these fake prophets, these charlatans. I'm addressing all of them, you know. They know what I'm talking about. I've sat down in my office with some of the guys that are watching right now. I've told them things, and they did not believe me. Up until I had to make phone calls and say, listen, if you think I'm lying about what I'm saying some time back, if you think I'm lying about what I'm saying, let me call this guy right now. Listen to the language that they use when they speak. Listen to the language that these guys use when they are talking about you. Listen to the language that these people are using, you know? Listen, just listen to the language. I see one of the guys that I sat down with in my office. He's actually right here online and, and, and he's watching, you know? I said, just don't, don't, don't say nothing. Listen to the language that we use whenever we talk. 
This is not a, 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 a Christian language. This is a mafia kind of language. This is a mafia kind of language. So, yeah. I'm so happy for, for, for Malaika because uh, finally you are out. It takes it will take it will take something for you to really uh, be out of this cult, you know. So everybody who's watching me right now, everyone who's watching me right now, don't just sit down and um, a, a, and be attacking these people online when they come to defend. At times you need to be radical on them, show them the truth. At times we also need to pray for them. There's a prayer that I did when I was live with Solomon. People thought I was bluffing. People thought it, it, it was a joke. That was a very sincere prayer that I was praying because I was praying for these people. I was praying for, 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 I was praying for their salvation. Mm. Praying for their salvation, praying for God to set them free so that even all those other people who are following them blindly, they can also be set free. You know, enough is enough. Enough is enough. And to all those people who are commenting on my Facebook and saying, oh, if you have evidence, why don't you bring it now? Are you, are you a judge? Are you a major street for me to give you evidence? No, I know what I'm doing. The, all the evidence that I have will be presented to the right people, will be presented at the right time. I'll take out all the evidence that I have at the right time. Right now, I'm still speaking. But you once changed your surname to his name. Yeah, it's true. That is very true. I was also a, 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 a shallow-minded at the time. I was also very much shallow-minded at the time, and that's why I did that. So, yeah, that's very correct. So everybody who's watching me now, everyone who's watching me right now, everybody who's watching me right now, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, be very, very careful. Be very, very careful of these prophetic churches. I was talking to somebody this morning and I said to this uh, uh, person I was talking to this morning, I said to him, listen, I want to give you, I want to give you an advice. And the advice that I want to give you is that stay away from the prophetic churches. Stay away from these prophetic churches because most of them, they are not what they think they are. They are not what they say they are. And the other day I, I posted something again on my Facebook and I said, I want to address the pastors and I'm going to bring out their names, the, the pastors from South Africa, you know, the local pastors from this country who made it a point that they went out there guns blazing, attacking me and saying all sorts of things about me. Uh, at that time, they are forgetting. One of them uh, uh, commented and uh, uh, one of them commented and I saw that he's watching right now. He commented on my Facebook, one of them, uh, he commented and then he said, oh no, you, you, are, you are speaking uh, 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 rubbish. Mm. You are speaking rubbish and you are coming here. You, 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 you never even used to know how to uh, open the Bible and preach. And now you are lying. I, I, I responded with a screenshot of his messages that he sent to me. I saw that he's watching right now. I saw that uh, he's watching. That pastor is watching now. You know, I'll pardon him today and I'll not mention his name today. But... I want to give a strong warning to all these pastors, local pastors, who have been acquainted with me at some point, you know. Stop going on social media to, 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 to go and try to uh, uh, speak nonsense uh, about my name and speak stuff about my... You better keep quiet if you've got nothing to say, you know. You better shut up if you've got nothing to say. You better keep quiet, you know. This pastor commented on my, on my Facebook uh, post. I just went back to my inbox. I took, and I have more messages on WhatsApp together with this pastor that I'm talking about. I went there to my, uh, to, I, I just uh, screenshot his message when he was uh, uh, sending me a message, asking to see me and everything and wanting to come through, you know. Uh, yeah, I see somebody say, are you saying TB Joshua is fake? Oh, I didn't hear you correctly. Uh, you heard me right, he's fake. He's a fake prophet. He's a false prophet. And if you're offended by that, you might as well go and jump, you know. He's a fake prophet. You have never met this man. You have never been to Nigeria. You, have, you, don't, know, you, have, you don't know this man. I have been there. I've been to Nigeria. I went to Nigeria and I got disappointed when I got there. I traveled together with a man from Zimbabwe called Mr. Udemba. We went together to Nigeria uh, to go to uh, TB Joshua because we wanted, we were going there for prayers and everything. When we got to Nigeria, 
We were so disappointed together because what we thought we would see on TV, that is not what it is when you, when, 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 I mean, when you get there. What you see on TV is not what you see on the ground. What you see them coming out to uh, a, a show on TV is not what you see on the ground. You know, before you even come up with your arguments of saying uh, is TB Joshua fake or not, you said Corona will end in March. Now we are in uh, uh, July. You know, there was a building that collapsed in his church there in, uh, uh, in Nigeria. A lot of South African brothers and sisters died in that building. If he is a true prophet, why did he not see that there's going to be a collapse of a building on this day? And, um, uh, and, and then you want people to say, uh, guys, because there is a collapse that I saw coming, uh, let's not go to church. If he comes out to say, I'm seeing a plane crash in, in Malaysia. I'm seeing a plane crash in South Africa. Why did he not prophesy about a plane crash in his own church? People, don't be gullible. Don't be foolish. Don't be gullible. Don't be gullible. You will remember my words one day, I'm telling you. You will remember my words. These people fake humility. They fake humility online. It's all for the sake of uh, online ministry. They fake humility online. They fake humility uh, uh, when they come out uh, 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 on TV. Everything that you see them showing off, uh, showcasing on TV is fake. I went to Nigeria. I had, I've got first-hand information about what I'm talking about. I went to Nigeria uh, uh, together with uh, Mr. Odemba from, uh, uh, from Zimbabwe. When we went there, we were disappointed. And tell you what. After we were disappointed when we went there, we left. And then we went to another church. It's called Mountain of Fire and Miracles. When we went to Mountain of Fire and Miracles, I really enjoyed being there. I'll tell you why. I never met the pastor. I never had a one-on-one -on -one with the pastor. So I've got nothing to say about the Mountain of, uh, 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 Mountain of Fire pastor. I've got nothing to say about him because I've never met him. But here is what I have to say. When we went to Mountain of Fire, we stayed at Mountain of Fire. They've got what is called a, um, a, a prayer city at Mountain of Fire in Nigeria, uh, in Lagos. They've got a prayer city uh, that is called Mountain of Fire. Uh, sorry, uh, in Mountain of Fire, they've got a prayer city, you know. So we went there. They have got something that they call do-it-yourself, DIY, where you pray the whole day and you fast the whole day for three days or four days every week. For three days or four days every week, you'll be fasting and praying. And as you'll be fasting and praying, you'll be, you'll be, you know, you'll be, you'll be, you'll be praying together with pastors. By the time I left Mountain of Fire and uh, Miracles, I'm telling you, I was, I was very skinny because of the fasting and the prayer that we were doing there in Nigeria. And then you, who has never been to Nigeria, who has never been to Synagogue Church of All Nations because you are deceived by the illusions that they show you on TV. You have got the guts to come out here and begin to attack me and say, stop attacking the senior prophet. You are a fool. You are very foolish, you know. Senior prophet for what? Who, who, senior to who? This year, these people, if they really have power as they claim to have, they, this power must be, it must be proven to people, you know. It must be proven to people. It must be proven. And if they really have the power, as they are always threatening all of you to say, uh, touch not the anointed ones. If you touch the prophets, you are going to die. If you touch me by, uh, if you touch me by, uh, uh, by mistake, you will die by correction. Listen, I'm not touching anybody by mistake. I'm touching them deliberately. Let them use me as the first example. Let all these false prophets and all these fake prophets, uh, let them use me as an example wherever they are. If they are really as, as, as real as they claim to be, if they are really as, 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 as real as they claim to be, let them use me as an example. I want to be used as, as, as an example. You see? The time of all these papas, the papal kingdom, uh, the kingdom building of papas and everything has come to an end. It has come to an end. Enough of all this uh, uh, deception. Enough of the deception. Enough of all these things coming out to speak nonsense to people in the name of I'm prophesying. There's this charlatan here from Pretoria, this false prophet, uh, 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 this uh, uh, jackal here, right here in Pretoria. He gave a prophecy about 2020, and you still see some uh, uh, shallow minded individuals. Shallow-minded individuals uh, 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 still say, no, no, Papa, my Papa is a, is a true man of God. My friend, if he's a true man of God, 
if he is a true man of God, why did he not see Corona when he was prophesying that he went into 2020? Why didn't he see Corona? You know? Don't be gullible. Don't be gullible. People, don't be gullible. Don't be gullible. Mm. Don't be gullible. Do not be gullible. I'll tell you something about Christians tonight. I'll tell you something about uh, Christians. I see somebody says, I still say that, uh, Jay, what you saw at Mountain of Fire is not what it is. Yeah, it might not be what it is, but listen to this. Uh, listen to this. Me, I speak what I know. I don't speak what I don't know. You will never hear me talking about men of God I don't know. People have asked me questions here. People have asked me questions on this platform and they've said, what do you think about this man of God? If I don't know him, I don't know him. I've got nothing to say about him. You know? If, I've got, if I don't know somebody, I don't know somebody. I've got nothing to say about them. I see somebody say, mention genuine pastor where people can rely. That is, that is where the problem begins. The problem begins there. You know? The problem begins right there where you are where you want to be shown a true man of God so that you can rely on him. That is where the problem begins. Use your own knees. The next time you want to look for a church, use discernment. Use discernment. Okay? Use discernment. Don't just fall for this. Uh, 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 you get to a place, fire, fire, there's fire, there's, oh, here we are a church of fire. If you join here, you are going to prosper by fire. There's nothing like that. It's nonsense. There's nothing like that. There's nothing like that. There's nothing like that. So all those who are busy here catching feelings about uh, T.B. Joshua, you might as well catch the nearest train to the nearest hell. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't uh, uh, care what you are going to think. I don't care how you are going to be affected. Uh, uh, it is your problem. It is your problem. It is not my problem. The one who's saying I'm bringing division to the body of Christ by lying about men of God, you are very foolish. That is foolishness that you are displaying on this broadcast. If they have power, why are they not stopping the division that I'm bringing to the body of Christ? If they are true men of God, why are they not stopping the division I'm bringing to the body of Christ? Why would one young man like J. Israel, born on the, 19th of, on the 18th of December 1992, 27 years of age, and all of the, some of them are 40, some of them are 50. Why would they allow a 27-year-old boy like me to bring, a, 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 to bring confusion to a whole body of Christ if they are true men of God and they say what I'm speaking is false? Let them prove it. Let them come out to say what I'm saying is nonsense. It doesn't exist. Let them come out to speak. Wherever you are, as you are watching me right now, you are your own prophet. Go on your knees and use your knees to pray. Time, the time of uh, depending on prophets, depending on uh, uh, fire apostles, depending on uh, 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 all these people uh, 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 to say, they'll pray for me. No, the covering of my father is upon my life. Oh no, because I'm protected because of my father's prayer. Do you know where he is? Do you know how he spends his day? Hmm? Do you know how he spends his day? Do you know how he spends his day wherever he goes? And you are busy here on, on social media uh, 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 killing yourself with, uh, with, uh, with uh, trying to defend, defending what you don't know. Stay away from things that you do not know. Stay away from things that have got nothing to do with you. The next time you want to go to look for a church, I'm not saying there are no good churches. There are a lot of good churches even here in South Africa. There are a lot of uh, 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 good churches in South Africa. A lot of them. A lot of them. You know? A lot. A lot of them here in South Africa. There are a lot. But I'm not going to tell you which ones, which ones, which ones. Me, I only talk about what I know. I only talk about what I know. I don't talk about things I don't know. So the next time you want to go to church, use the spirit of discernment in you. In fact, tomorrow... I'll be talking about tomorrow on my live broadcast. I'm going to be talking about the, the true church and the false church. I believe that after tomorrow, after tomorrow's live broadcast, you will know where to go. You will know where to go. You will know which church to attend. You will know which church 
a, a really you 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 belong to you will know where you are supposed to attend and you will know where exactly you are supposed to be so tomorrow's broadcast i'll be hitting very hard on the false churches exposing all the 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 exposing the the system behind the false church the operation behind the false church there's a false church there's a fake church the operation behind how people are manipulated into believing that this is a true church how things are done in the false church how uh, the whole operation of the false church i'll be speaking about it tomorrow then after i'm done i'm going to come out and i'll speak about the true church and i'll direct you which one is the true church and which one is the right church to go to so yeah the other thing that i wanted to address as well is this issue of these women is the issue of these women i've been in touch with quite a number of them you know who've been abused in in these different churches um uh, who've been abused some i see somebody keeps saying can i ask you about your friends i don't have any friend who is a who is a, who is a, who is a fake prophet i don't have any friend who is a fake prophet you know if you're trying to hear what i will say i will not say i don't have any friend who's a false prophet i do not have a friend who is a fake prophet uh, i don't you know Anybody who is a fake prophet who lies to people in the name of the prophetic is not my friend. Anybody who uses the prophetic to scam people, who uses the prophetic to lie to uh, innocent people is not my friend. You know, we don't meet anywhere. We don't meet anywhere. We don't meet anywhere. I see somebody say, where is Alf's wife? I don't know. I don't know. Why, why, why don't you uh, go there to Johannesburg and ask them? I don't know. You see? Yeah. So, yeah. So, uh, 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 all these women that I've been talking to, my, 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 my heart is, it, it breaks each time I talk to, this, to these people because they tell me that, men of God, we really want to leave the church, but we don't know how. We really want to leave the church, but we don't know how. You know? We really want to leave the church, but we don't know how because we are trapped. You know? There's money that comes. This man... Uh, he, he made us to be so dependent on him, you know? He made us to be so dependent on him in terms of finances, in terms of money. Because of the money that he gives us, we are, we, are, we are really afraid. We don't know how to come out of these places. People, listen, let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray for our brothers and sisters. Let's pray especially for the sisters who are connected to these uh, 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 false prophets. I'm telling you, let's pray for them. Let's pray for our sisters who are connected to these uh, false prophets. They need our prayers at this very moment. They need our prayers like, like never before. Let us pray for them. They need our prayers like never before. This is the time that they need our prayers the most. Let us pray for our sisters who are caged in these churches, who are, who are, who are bound in these churches, who are, who are here in these churches. Let us pray for them. Let us pray for them so that God can set them free. Even themselves, they are tired, you know. I've been in touch with some of the pastors who are actually serving in these uh, cults that I've been talking about. They, 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 they talk, they, they, they say to men of God, we don't know why we are still there. We don't know why we are still there. We don't know why we are still held. We don't know what we are still doing there. We don't know how to leave. So let us pray about these people. Honestly speaking, let us pray about them. Let's pray for them so that God can set them free wherever they are in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So I came out tonight and I wanted to address uh, uh, this uh, uh, issue of uh, Johannesburg. You know, this issue of Johannesburg, of their uh, 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 message that they were circulating around in their groups the whole day, you know, telling each other that J. Israel is an antichrist, he's being used by the devil, and uh, J. Israel, uh, we must not listen to him because he's an antichrist, he's being used by the devil to bring confusion to the body of Christ. The nonsense, you are not part of the body of Christ. You are not part of the body of Christ. The Santin Church is not part of the body of Christ. It is not part of the body of Christ. That's a cult. It's not in the body of Christ. It's a cult. You know, that's not a church. It's a cult. So that is why I'm addressing it the way that I'm addressing it. A lot of people are logged in that place. They are logged in there, you know. 
different cults across the country. Coming down to the other post that I posted about our local uh, uh, pastors here in South Africa. You know, I saw them. They went ballistic online. The other one posted, oh no, me when I went to J Israel. Uh, then I'm like, so why are you panicking? <laughs> why are you running? Why are you running? I saw these pastors going on Facebook. You know, this one would take my picture and put it there and say, no, me, I want you to know that when I went to J Israel, he did not give me anything spiritual. He did not um, uh, initiate me to anything. Oh, why are you uh, running to go and defend yourself before I even mention your name? I said I'm going to mention the names of the South African pastors, you know, who are involved in the cults. I said I'm going to mention the names of the uh, South African pastors who are involved in the cults, who are part of the cults, you know, who came to me at some point and they wanted to be introduced to the, cult, uh, to, uh, to the cults. Some of the South African pastors, some of the uh, local pastors during those days, during that time, came to me and said, man of God, I'm ready, whatever that you want me, whatever that it is that you want me to uh, 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 do, I'm ready to do it so that my church can grow. I'm ready to make sure that uh, whatever, is it money that you want, how, how much should I pay? Some of them, I even told them that, no, 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 me, I can't do nothing for you, but I'll have to take you somewhere where we can go together and then you can be initiated into the cult. And these are pastors who are leading churches here in South Africa, and I'm seeing some of them are watching right now, you know? I'm seeing them. Some of them are watching me right now as I'm talking. They are watching right now as I am talking. You see? As I'm talking now, they are watching. They came they knew very well they knew very well that uh, 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 i'll be introducing them to cults i'll be introducing them to i'll be taking them to shrines and they said no it's fine i'm ready to go with you to that shrine i'm ready to go with you to that place to receive whatever that you received and they are here and whenever they go and speak against a uh, uh, J Israel, they speak against me, they speak in their small, in their corners, wherever they meet to speak against me. They forget to tell people that, hey, listen, that guy, that guy that you are talking about, that guy that you are talking about, uh, you know, please, just uh, 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 at some point we wanted things from him, you know. I see one of the pastors who is here right now, he's watching now. I remember at some point he came to me and then I took him to the sea in East London. I took him to the sea here in East London. I took him to the sea. I said, let's go to the sea. I washed him with water there at the sea. And I wanted to do stuff for him. But then I, I, I decided to stop. He's watching me right now. I can see him. So all these pastors, local pastors, who are going around on this uh, social media speaking nonsense, you better repent. You better repent. Come out and speak it for yourself. Repent. Oh, I'll, I'll definitely uh, call out your name, you know. I'll call out your name because you cannot be a, 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 a being hypocritical out there. You cannot be a hypocrite in the streets of Facebook so that people can clap for you and say, no, you are a true man of God. You are a true man of God. You carry so much revelation. You carry so much uh, uh, knowledge, you know. You are, you know, you are the true man of God. I'm coming. I'm coming. It's gonna be, 2020 is going to be a long year and nobody can stop me. Nobody can stop me and nobody can say nothing about the journey that I'm embarking on. It's a very dangerous journey and I know about it. And I am going to be unstoppable on this journey. There's a lot of people that I've been in touch with. I'm going to be interviewing them on this live broadcast. I'm going to be bringing them on the live broadcast. On this live broadcast, I'll be, giving, I'll be, I'll be bringing them here. I'll be bringing them on the live broadcast to say, guys, uh, listen, let's talk. Uh, you, uh, what happened to you? Then they'll say, no, me, this is what happened to me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is what happened to me. This is what happened to me. This is what happened to me. You know? So, yeah. So, it, it's going to be a long year. It's going to be, you better get ready. Brace yourselves because this is just the beginning. If you thought, uh, if you thought that uh, J. Israel is playing, I see somebody said, you better clean your closet because they are going to dig your past. I don't have a past. <laughs> I don't have a past. My past is buried in Christ. You know? My past is buried in Christ. My past is buried in Christ. Do I have a past? Yes, I do. But it is buried in Christ. 
What is it that I was doing in the past? Oh, yes. Am I proud of it? I'm definitely not proud of it. Was it bad? Was it wrong? Very bad and very wrong. Are you proud of it? I'm not proud of it. You know, so, um, yeah, so definitely I'm, 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 I'm bringing it out. So if they want to go and dig into my past, they can dig as much as they want to. You know, they can dig as much as they want to, but my past is buried in Christ. My past is buried in Christ and I'm not there anymore. You know, I'm disconnected from my past. Yeah. I've personally made a personal confession of the things that I was doing that none of you ever knew or ever thought that I was doing. I spoke about it. That means my past is, is, is buried in Christ. You know, so I am a new creation. I am not afraid of anything. I am not afraid of anybody. All my skeletons in my, in my closet, in my cupboard, under my bed, I've put them out there in the world for the whole world to know that this is what I was doing and this is what I was up to. So, yeah. Jay, they will come up with the rape cases. Watch. Uh, well, you know, the truth will always prevail. The truth will always prevail. The truth will always prevail. In my entire life, in my entire life, ever since I was born up to today, do you know how many women, do you know how many women have been throwing themselves at me, wanting to sleep with me, old, young, do you know how many of them but I've been running away from them. Do you know up to now how many women are trying to throw themselves at me, but I still run away from them? In my entire life, I've never been in a position where I have to find myself a forcing a, a, to sleep with a woman and forcing a woman to have a sexual intercourse with me. I've never done that in my life, and I don't foresee myself doing that at any point. You know? So... Uh, it, it, it rape for what for, for who rape for what you know <laughs> rape for what um, I, I never that uh, can never happen it can never happen and it will never work it will never work so everybody who's watching me now you know uh, 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 this is the beginning of the revolution wherever you are watching from put fire let the fire burn let the fire burn on social media, in your corner, in your area. Let this fire burn. Let the fire of this revival burn from your corner. Whatever that you know that is wrong in the church, that is wrong in the body of Christ, put it out there. Let us deal with these things. It is time for a spring cleaning in the church. It is time for spring cleaning in the church. I see somebody say, you guys use witchcraft to grow, your church, uh, to grow your church. I don't know what you mean when you say you guys. Because I don't know which guys you are talking about. When you say you guys, because I am not uh, one of those guys. I am not that man. It reminds me of Bishop uh, Maponga's uh, sermon where he was saying, I am not that man. Mm -hmm. I know you might have heard that I use witchcraft uh, to... I use witchcraft to... To grow my church is true but as i'm sitting here right now i am not that man i am not that man whatever you heard about me yesterday i am not that man that's not me anymore so yeah i see uh some uh z van da, da something says j israel senior there were rumors in east london that you impregnated some lady is it true well i mean you know, rumors of pregnancy. Pregnancy is not like um, a headache that can be hidden forever. Pregnancy grows. You know, if uh, somebody got pregnant of me at some point, then it definitely means the pregnancy would have grown by now. By now, there could have been, you know, a, a, a baby. So those are not rumors. You know, those are just a mere a, 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 a lies that people bring up and stuff. You know, and by the way, if 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 I if I impregnated somebody at some point, and then uh, I decided to take a, you know full a responsibility of the pregnancy and stuff, you know, I don't see a problem in that, okay. But as far as I know, as far as I remember, I've, I've I don't remember any pregnancy story, you know, because 
at times some of the things that people speak about i look at myself and i say are they talking about you or they're talking about someone else at times i also think maybe there's 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 a me that there's somebody who's claiming to be me out there who's going around doing nonsense and claiming to be me you know so if i had impregnated somebody at, at, at that time i was gonna be happy you know i was gonna be happy because a baby a child is a, a baby is a is a um a baby is a uh, is a blessing from god a baby is a blessing from god so yeah i, I was gonna be very happy but unfortunately there is nothing of that sort. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Watch your mouth. Maybe the women did not come up yet. Uh -uh. How can you live wherever you left there? Where? I don't know. You are living wherever you left, wherever place that you left. You come here on my broadcast to come and tell me to watch my mouth. Don't you see that uh, <laughs> you are... <laughs> <laughs> you leave your 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 wherever you whatever you maybe you were having pap and uh, chicken there you come on my broadcast hmm? you leave your place you come on my broadcast <laughs> you come to tell me that i must watch my mouth some people really surprise me at times <laughs> some people really surprise me at times you know it's it's a shock i'm shocked you know, you can't come to my broadcast and tell me to watch my mouth. Here, I speak what I want. This is my broadcast, my data, my phone. And I speak what I want on this broadcast. And you can do nothing about that. So let's just clear that one as we move on. Yeah, so let's interact. Let's interact, guys. I believe that I've cleared what I wanted to clear. I've spoken about what I wanted to speak about. Uh, these uh, uh, people were coming out, circulating messages and saying things about uh, things that they don't know listen they might as well just a uh, uh, relax because this is just the beginning the real storm is coming if they thought this is storm what has started now is a storm they don't know a real storm is coming you know i see somebody says can you please explain to me about prophet tb joshua why is high priest being delivered with tb joshua you can say bushiri and rukau and others i don't understand what you're trying to say my friend i don't understand what you're trying to say my friend so yeah everything that you see on tv is is not what it is when you wait, 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 when you go on the ground when you go on the, let me let me just give you a bit of my uh, encounter i see a lot of people are coming here to catch feelings about uh, this tb joshua story that uh, 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 that i spoke about i even saw some bloggers on youtube uh, picked it up and they were coming out to say uh, uh, um, your 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 uh, to say that jay israel was attacking uh, tb joshua now let's 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 clear this all the way there's a difference between attacking and exposing attacking is when i attack your character you have never had me attacking these people's characters. You have never had me saying, oh no, this big-headed man who is tall and he can't speak well. Never. I'll never do that. You have never had me attacking their characters. I attack things that they are doing. And I expose things that they are doing that are not good. That is what I do. So there's a difference between attacking and exposing. If you see me doing what I'm doing, I'm exposing. And exposing is not an attack. Because there is no way you can speak the truth without exposing a lie. So if I am really, 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 really serving God the way that I am, and I don't expose a lie, then I'm lying to myself. I see a lot of people know, expose Christ. When you, when you preach Christ, you expose Christ, and then the light will come and shine. My friend, that is theory. You are, you are behind. You are still on the theoretical side of the, of the equation. You are still on the theoretical side of the gospel. Me, I'm on the practical area right now. How many messages have been preached of, no, let there be light. Did light come? Did women stop being raped? Did they stop faking miracles? Did they stop lying to people? Did they stop doing all these things? They never stopped. Up to now, it is still happening. So that was theory. That was theory. I'm coming on the practical side to show you that what you once had, that sermon you once had, where a
prophet so and so or pastor so and so was preaching about this this is the reality of it you know this is the reality so let me just give you a bit of my encounter i can never talk about tb joshua a man that i've never met a, 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 in a place that i've ever been to that i've never been to you see so i want you to know this i want you to know this i traveled i went to nigeria i went to nigeria uh, 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 just after I started my ministry in Zimbabwe, before I got involved in all these cults and everything, I went to Nigeria because I, I, at, at that time I was very much on fire, you know. I was very much on fire at the time. I wanted to serve God and do the right thing and we said, let's go to Nigeria. We went to Nigeria. Uh, we landed in Lagos. From Lagos, we traveled. We went to um, a, a, a we went to uh, the place where they do their church in, uh, in, 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 in Lagos. I think, the, if I'm not mistaken, that place is called what? I can't remember the place very well. Um, but it's in a, it, the, the place is not in town. It, it, is, it is in, in a, in a, in a it's, it's not in the city center. It's not in the CBD. It's in the outskirts. So I went to that place. We went to that church. We got there, then we started asking, so how do we go about this thing of you want to see the men of God and stuff? Then they said, no, uh, for you to be able to see the men of God, you know, you, you, there are people who came and they said, no, you must, you know, pay me something, then I'll take you to the men of God, you know, even for you to go, go, to, to go and sit and have a seat inside the church. Even for you to have a seat inside the church, you know, uh, you have to come, you have to come wearing a nice suit, looking good. If you come not looking too good, you will not sit inside the church. You will sit in the overflow. That is the criteria of that church. So I said, okay, no problem. So on that day, I put on my nice suit. We went. The, by 3 a.m., we were already in the queue. Yeah, it's in Ikotu. Uh, it's in Ikotu Egwe. Ikotu Egwe. That's the place. So yeah, we went there and they said, no. So by, by yeah, Ikotu Egwe. That's the place. Mm -hmm. So we went there. Mm. when we went there uh, we got to the place by 3 a.m we were already outside 3 a.m we were already outside and right there at the synagogue church of all nations in nigeria we were already outside uh, when we were outside this uh, guy who was helping us to have seats inside came then he said okay where's the money where's the money then we gave him the money then he took us inside uh, the church we had to skip the line then we you know uh we got inside the church then they gave us seats. I was sitting on the one, two, row number three from the front. Yeah, I was sitting on row number three uh, from the front. So as I was there, <clears throat> mm. so as I was there, uh, you know, this guy was talking to me and saying, oh no, so listen, you know, uh, wh what brought you here? What is it that brought you? Then I said, no, I came here, I've got a ministry, so... Is it possible that I see the man of God? Then they said, no, for you to see the man of God, you know, there's, there's a certain amount of money that you're going to pay, you know, what, what, what and stuff. So I said, okay, no problem. So I'm there and then I'm seeing these things are happening, you know, um, he's going there, he's touching people. Then there's the front row, already the front row people, those ones, for you to sit on the front row, <clears throat> for you to sit on the front row, for you to sit on the front row <laughs> there at the synagogue church of all nations there's no way you can sit on that front row if you have not put money on the on the or if you have not put a lot of money down because many pastors go there to synagogue church of all nations just for show off so that any even the man of god if, if even a, 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 the false prophet tb joshua if he just lays hands and then it's on tv those people will now state the videos take the videos one a false prophet again from zimbabwe one false prophet from Zimbabwe, who is a son of a TB Joshua, his name is Magaya from Zimbabwe. He went to a TB Joshua, he came back to TB Joshua, he came back from TB Joshua and established a ministry in Zimbabwe. He did posters, 2013, I guess. I think it was 20, 2012 or 2013. He did posters, he put posters all over the city of Harare, and the posters were written back from scorn. Mm. And the posters were written back from scorn, back from the synagogue church of all nations. Let me, let me, I'm talking to all those people who've been spreading a video where I say TB Joshua is fake. TB Joshua is a false prophet. 
let me let me let me explain to you let me talk to you let's have a talk okay because you you talk from a place of ignorance me i talk from a place of one of first hand information okay so that a a, a charlatan magaya a false prophet went to a, a, a nigeria synagogue church of all nations after he went to nigeria synagogue uh, church of all nations he went back to zimbabwe when he went back to zimbabwe he put posters in the whole city uh, in the whole city of uh, harare everywhere he put posters back from scorn back from scorn back from scorn because at the time people used to follow tb joshua from zimbabwe a lot so you are saying maga is fake you heard me right listening is a skill listening is a skill if you are here on my broadcast and you have got a bad listening skill you are going to misconstrue and misunderstand what i'm saying so don't come here with a terrible listening skill where you listen to respond and you don't listen to hear okay so this man got to zimbabwe he started doing things you know he started giving people selling uh, that anointed water that they got from tb joshua selling anointed water telling people that uh, no anointed water is here anointed water come for anointed water this sunday i'll be anointing people with the anointed water from nigeria people flogged in his church thousands of people who could not go to nigeria they went to magaya okay when they went to magaya thousands of people were there in magaya's church next thing magaya has raped a woman it, it is all over the internet go on youtube right now if you want to know what i'm talking about go on youtube you are going to see what i'm talking about the most disgusting thing that has ever happened the most disgusting thing that has ever been done by tb joshua working together in cohorts with uh, magaya from zimbabwe magaya raped a woman in zimbabwe and abused a woman in zimbabwe as married as he is when he abused this woman when he abused this woman in zimbabwe uh, the woman started uh, started threatening Maga. If you think what I'm saying is a lie, go on YouTube and go and look for it. You'll find it. Magaya, this woman started threatening Magaya to say, I'm going to expose you. I'm going to expose you. I'm going to expose you. The woman started speaking out. Magaya spoke to the woman and said, no, I'm going to give you 100,000 US dollars just for you to keep quiet. It is there on YouTube. Go and type Magaya rape versus TB Joshua. You'll find it. Mm. you'll find it there so magaya said no i'm going to i'm going to uh, give you hundred thousand us dollars and i'm going to buy you a car for you to keep quiet where is the hundred thousand dollars coming from that is being used to give this woman so that the woman can be silenced it is coming from offering it is coming from church money it is coming from hard-end money that uh, uh, thousands of people are spending a uh, 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 day and night working a, a, a working just to get this money and they go to this charlatan called magaya and when they get there they put out their money they pay tithes they pay offering they pay prophetic seed they put the money on the on the on the altar only for the money to be taken by this fake prophet called magaya for him to go and bribe a woman to keep quiet because of a rape case what kind of nonsense is that if you are watching me right now and you will come out and say oh no jay israel you are not uh, you are not oh i see another one is here saying but weakness is not fake that is foolishness that is foolishness that's not a weakness as a woman if you are here and you are you are actually celebrating and supporting what this uh, charlatan was doing raping these women as we speak right now there's more than 10 there's more than 10 rape cases that have been opened against magaya and you are here as a woman you are here saying oh no it was it was a weakness you are a disgrace to womanhood you are a disgrace to the crown of women you are a disgrace a, 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 to all the women all over the world and all the women who are watching this broadcast right now you are supposed to be standing for your for your for your fellow sisters you are supposed to be standing for your fellow sisters standing for your fellow sisters who are being raped by these charlatans who are being raped by these false prophets in these churches offering money was taken and it was given to my uh, to 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 to, uh, to this lady so that the lady can keep quiet and you are out here saying that oh no it is a weakness are you kidding me so offering money was taken a, 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 a offering money is taken and is, is given to these people now now listen to the most surprising thing 
T.B. Joshua from Nigeria. If you think I'm lying, go on, on, on YouTube and look for these things. It is there. T.B. Joshua, all the way from Nigeria. How can a true prophet of God, somebody that everybody in all over the world regards as a senior prophet, hmm? T.B. Joshua calls this lady, and T.B. Joshua says on the phone, and the lady was recording the call, is there on YouTube. T.B. Joshua called the lady because the lady was, was, was threatening to expose Magaya. And T.B. Joshua says, hello, how are you? I'm fine. Oh, listen, uh, uh, I'm calling you from uh, Nigeria. And then the lady said, no, who am I talking to? Then, then he says, oh, I know that if I tell you my name, my name will sweet you. It will sweet your ear. I know that you really want to hear from someone like me. Hmm? You really want to hear from someone like me. You really want to hear from someone like me. This is a prophet that all of you on this broadcast, or rather some of you on this broadcast, are coming here to defend. To say, no, no, T.B. Joshua is a senior prophet. If he was a senior prophet, he was supposed to rebuke his son for raping and sleeping with women in his church. He was not supposed to, uh, 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 he was not supposed to uh, 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 call this young lady and try to uh, uh, sweet talk the young lady into keeping quiet. These are false prophets. These are fake prophets. They come in different packages. They come in different packages. My guy is faking miracles there in, in, in Harare. You know, I know some of the people, uh, uh, one of the guys, uh, 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 I talked to the brother. I talked to the brother. I see somebody saying who uploaded those videos on YouTube. Just go on YouTube, type Magaya Rep Case versus TB Joshua. You are going to find it there. You are going to find it. You are going to find everything there. You are going to find everything on YouTube. So look at this. If he was a true prophet, if he was a true, thank you so much, Abraham. Abraham says, I saw it on YouTube. You are telling the truth. It's true. There's no need for me to lie. There is no lie that will ever come out of my mouth at any point. My tongue is not designed to lie. Where I am right now, I'm ready to die for the truth. I'm ready to die for the truth and I'm, because I got tired of living for a lie. Living a lie and living for a lie. Now I'm living for the truth and I will die for this truth. You see? So now look at this. Now, if T.B. Joshua was a true prophet of God, he was supposed to rebuke his son to say, what you are doing is bad. Simply because T.B. Joshua will take money from a, 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 a Magaya. Magaya will collect offerings there in, a, in, 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 in Zimbabwe, collect offerings there from a, a gullible a, 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 a individuals who are desperate for miracles, and Magaya will take the money to Nigeria. And because T.B. Joshua is uh, enjoying the money there in Nigeria, now he's calling this lady to say, no, please, uh, you must keep quiet. Don't talk about this. Uh, you must not do this. You must not do that. How many rape cases have been opened in, in, in Zimbabwe against Magaya? How many of them? Hmm? How many rape cases have been opened against Magaya in Zimbabwe? And you are out here telling me that a TB Joshua is a fake prophet. How can a fake, uh, how can how can a true prophet called TB Joshua have a son like Magaya? Hmm? Let's let's talk about this. How can a true prophet called TB Joshua have a false prophet as a son called Magaya from Zimbabwe? How how does that happen? How does that happen? How does that happen? It's impossible. It is highly impossible. I'm telling you, it's impossible. It can never be. It can never be. It's like where I am now. If you see me hanging around with a fake prophet, then you will definitely question my standing in Christ. Why don't you question the standing of all these uh, uh, guys who are going around out there lying to people uh, in the name of uh, uh, miracles and stuff? A fake prophet, a false prophet, can never be found in a, a working in association or in friendship or in a relationship with a, 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 a with a false prophet it is impossible it is highly impossible i see somebody said this is not proof of falsehood well i gave you the proof of falsehood i went to nigeria i attended the service in nigeria <clears throat> i saw people i could see that no this this is fake this person here 
is saying has been delivered. Then we see each other outside at the overflow. Huh? After service, the person has been delivered. Before service, the, the, this person is coming to the church. The person is walking fine. The next thing you are seeing, the person is now in the church, is now crippled. Ah, how did you become crippled, but outside you were fine? I'm talking about things that I saw in Nigeria, not things that I heard of. You know? There was one guy I was staying with in my hotel that I was staying, it, that, uh, that I was staying with in Ikotu. There in Ikotu in Nigeria, in Lagos. As we were getting ready to uh, uh, go for service, there's a guy I was staying with uh, uh, right there in, uh, uh, in Zimbabwe. Uh, sorry, in Nigeria, at the hotel. I didn't know that this guy was coming here to act. And I didn't know that this guy was coming here to do all these uh, fake miracles. I'm talking to this guy nicely. The following day, I'm in church. I'm seeing this guy is being delivered, and this guy is, is now crippled. Eh? He's got bandages all over. He's got, uh, his hand is like this. They are asking what happened. He said, no, I was in. I'm like, ah, but this is the guy that I saw at the hotel. Hmm? This is the guy that I saw at the hotel. <laughs> this is the guy I saw at the hotel. Don't come here and ask me, why am I attacking other prophets? These are not prophets. These are charlatans. These are charlatans. They are not prophets. They are not prophets. They are not prophets. They are not prophets. They are charlatans. They are liars. They are jackals. They are thieves and robbers. That is what they are. They are charlatans. Do not at any point regard these people as men of God. There is nothing godly about this man. I'm telling you the truth. If you don't agree with what I'm saying, then you might as well just leave this broadcast. You don't belong here. If you don't agree, if you are here to disagree with me, then you are on the wrong platform. You're on the wrong platform. So to all those who have been saying, why are you attacking TB Joshua? I've, I've, I've told you. Yeah, I'm, I, I don't talk about people I've never met. I talk about people I know. <laughs> I talk about people I know. I talk about experiences that I've seen with my with my with my eye like this. You see? So yeah. So even the snake pastor was there and uh, when he came back he slaughtered the dog for his congregation. <laughs> okay, I see DJF says J Israel my brother. Uh, please continue on the things you wanted us to know as you address. There are so many people writing questions to distract you. Okay. Mm -hmm. What I'm doing is very scriptural. What I'm doing is very scriptural. It same applies with people who have never been raped by pastors. If you're on this platform right now, mm -hmm. if you're on this platform right now and you have never been raped, If you're on this platform right now and you have never been raped by a pastor, when you hear other people saying, I've been raped by a man of God, you will never understand them. You see? You will never understand them. Not even at any point. Not even at any point. I see uh, somebody says, calm down, brother. You are taking it too emotional. Whether emotional or unemotional or pre-emotional or de-emotional or, 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 or whatever emotional, this is the truth. That's how I speak. That's how I express myself. It's my way of expression. It is my way of expression. So, yeah. From the beginning of the broadcast, uh, I see somebody says, you are lying, Brother Jay. We've been at SCON also. Ah, so, if you've been at SCON, did I say you are lying? You, you have your own experience from scorn. I have my own experience from scorn. So let's leave it like that. If you want to believe what I'm saying, believe it. If you don't want to... Remember, I'm not forcing people to believe me. That's, maybe I need to put that on record. <laughs> you know? Anytime I'm coming out to speak like this, I'm not coming to say, people, please come and believe me. No. I'm speaking. I'm just speaking my truth. Because you believing what I'm saying or not believing what I'm saying does not change the truth. The truth is the truth, and the truth will always hurt. <laughs> you see? So what you have is, is, is your encounter, and what I have is my encounter. Okay? So don't come and say, I'm lying. Okay? 
don't come don't come out here and say i'm lying i'm not lying did i say you are lying that you went there i did not because that's your opinion you are bringing on point that you're bringing on board okay so yeah i'm not saying i'm i'm, I'm self-righteous or anything no i'm not self-righteous i am not a uh, self-righteous i am not self-righteous i'm not even considering myself a righteous man of god i'm not even considering myself a perfect man but i'm just addressing what needs to be addressed and because i'm pulling some nerves you know i'm touching your so-called favorites mm. the ones that you want to be with uh, when you grow up so when i grow up i want to be like major three <laughs> When I grow up, I want to be like the, the senior prophet. Oh. When I grow up, I want to be, a, 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 I also want to be lifting up the sign of victory. <laughs> you are lying to yourself. When you grow up, have a personal relationship with God, not otherwise. Hmm. not otherwise anyway let me uh, just address a few questions before i leave this broadcast if you've got any question that you want to ask me i'm here this is a platform and a, a, a very interactive platform something that i don't normally do when i'm live for our normal sunday and wednesday and friday services uh somebody says are you not worried about your safety i'm definitely not worried about my safety because i know that nobody can do nothing to me nobody can do nothing to me if they want let them try if they want let them try i can even give them my address to come for me if they want no one can do nothing to me nobody not even at any point mm. not even at any point true believe what you want believe your belief doubt your doubt it's your life you know only those who are going, uh, who are tired of these things, will be liberated. And some of you who are still enjoying shouting, I receive, who are still enjoying uh, being scammed, who are still enjoying uh, kneeling down before your papa, you know, screaming and shouting in church day in and day out, receiving nothing, are the ones that are going to enjoy uh, 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 whatever that is happening. Okay. Mm -hmm. so i know that a lot of people uh, who are watching wherever they are wherever they are watching from uh, because because of the love of miracles you know as, as as i'm getting ready to 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 conclude here because of the love of miracles uh, because of the love of miracles Uh, there's a question that says, I know one guy from Limpopo who came to see you and brought you a gift in a young lady. They wanted you to marry her. The same thief said you asked him to allow you to open in Limpopo. Is it true? Huh? The fact that you're addressing the person as a thief, how can I be a... a, a... <laughs> how can I be... Uh, uh, how can I have relationship with uh, with thieves? Hmm? How can I have a relationship with thieves? I don't remember. Why, why would I even have a woman being brought to me as a gift for me to marry? Uh, maybe my eyes are now what? They are now on lockdown. Never. That's not correct, my brother. That's not true. That is not true. Mm. That is not true. I see somebody says, I have a question. Since you have a list of fake ones, do you mind giving us the list of the true ones? In fact, according to you, am I fake or original? What do you think about yourself? Firstly, you go on Facebook, you are one of those. Firstly, you go on Facebook to go and uh, speak nonsense. You go on Facebook, you speak nonsense, you say, oh, my ex-father, this, uh, when I was with my ex-father, now you're coming on my broadcast to ask me, are you, are you true or you are false? <laughs> first, 
foolishness is a gift from the devil and i believe you have one of those uh, gifts called foolishness you know you go on facebook you attack me that time when i was there in east london you came hmm? you came to me in east london you traveled all the way uh, coming there to say oh no papa please papa eh, papa this papa that it surprises me that some of these boys that are busy prophesying to people on facebook hmm, going live on facebook prophesying to people came to me and they were asking me so how do i prophesy and then and then i see them prophesying on facebook i ask myself ah how do you prophesy on facebook but you were you were coming to me asking uh, that you want to prophesy so we, how, how did it happen <laughs> how did it happen it's surprising i'm surprised i'm surprised i'm actually very surprised you know i'm really really surprised so anyway let me address your your questions i'm only going to address uh, important questions questions that i believe are what is the meaning of giving titles such as major one ah, i don't know how about i give you a someone with a with that title i give you his phone number then you ask him direct maybe you can get an answer <laughs> Maybe you can get an answer. Beta, what is your question? Mm. Jay, please uh, get you and your church members covered. Contact me to discuss about your policy before you die for the truth. I've Bob Sandlam clientele old mutual. <laughs> yeah. Martin Tijara, what are you saying? Live day, Mary, full stop. What are you saying? Uh, just explain. I don't understand what you mean, my brother. Mm -hmm. I asked to help your secret agencies that I'm not from shrines rituals don't don't embarrass yourself uh, you uh, this guy who keeps on uh, commenting here because you, you don't, don't don't do that i see you um a self-righteous uh, trying to be a self-righteous guy self-righteous prophet on facebook mm -hmm. coming out and trying to uh, coming out and trying to say oh no mia when i was with the ex-father and then the ex-father never gave me any impartation and then the ex-father the ex-father this and that don't <laughs> don't don't do that you know it, it might cost you the your whole prophetic career you are just beginning this prophetic career i wouldn't want to mess it up for you you know so please don't do that <laughs> did you apologize personally to the girls you have been involved with and then later dumped them i believe that uh, every girl that i've been with uh, I'm, I'm probably in very much good books with all of them yeah i believe that everybody i've been with i'm in good books with everybody i'm in good books with everyone as far as I'm concerned, yeah. Uh, by the way, I want you to know, as you are watching right now, that uh, at the end of the day, wherever you are watching from, wherever you are, uh, wherever you are watching from, wherever you are, I want you to know that uh, let the fire of this revival go out there. Let the fire of this revival spread. Let the fire of this revival be that ignition point be that ignition key for the fire of revival be that point of connection for this fire of revival in your area in your society in your country in your city wherever you are watching from let this gospel spread 
expose wickedness, expose injustice, speak against it, talk to people, give advice to those who need advice, talk to those who are in bondage, assist them and let them know how they can come out of it, you know? Assist them and let them know how they can come out of it. Let them know, talk to them, and uh, spread this, uh, this gospel. Spread 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 this gospel. Let it spread. Let it go out there. Everybody must be liberated. Everybody must be liberated. Everybody must be set free. Everybody must come to Christ. Everybody must come to the knowledge of the truth of the gospel. So wherever you are, you are that ignition point. You are that ignition key. You are that person that God wants to use in your area. The fact that you have heard this word, the fact that you, you, you are part of this movement, the fact that you are part and parcel of what is going on, the responsibility has now been put on your shoulders. And now it is your responsibility to take the gospel to nations, to take the gospel to places so that uh, 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 people can be set free. And at the end of the day, some of you, it doesn't matter what you have done. God is a God of forgiveness. It doesn't matter what you have done. It doesn't matter what you have been through. It doesn't matter how nasty you have been. It doesn't matter whatever that you might have done at any time, at any moment. God is a God of forgiveness. He is a God of forgiveness and he is uh, 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 merciful enough to forgive you wherever you are in the name of Jesus Christ. So yeah, let us sound the trumpet. Let us sound the trumpet. Let us sound the trumpet. Let the, let, 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 let's sound this trumpet. The truth must be, yeah, the truth must go out there. The truth must go out there. When am I coming to Namibia? Soon after lockdown, I'm coming to Namibia. But I'm not coming to Namibia to start a church. I'm not coming to Namibia to start a church. I'll be coming to Namibia just to visit. So, yeah. So to all those who are watching, bring your questions, whatever question that you have, bring it on uh, as I'm about to go offline right now. As I'm about to go offline, the issues that I wanted to address, I believe that I've addressed them. And uh, the question about the TB Joshua video that has been circulating, people saying, why would you call him a fake prophet, a false prophet, you know? Mm -hmm. So please. I believe that I've answered all that. I believe that I've answered all that. And we, 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 we also want to, um, uh, we also want to welcome our, 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 our brothers and sisters. We have also joined us with fake accounts. We can see you. We acknowledge your presence. Uh, be welcomed to this broadcast. Be welcomed to this broadcast. Certain names that people are, be, are bringing here Mm, I know that it's it's you, men of God, you are bringing your names here so that I can talk about you. I will not. I will, I know you. I will not do that. I will not do that. Who is your mentor now? Well, I'm still praying about that. I'm still praying about that. But God is my spiritual father. God is my father. God is my spiritual father. And that's it. Okay. You have said bad things about TB Joshua. Do you know maybe he made do you know maybe he made right with God? As far as I know, what I see whenever I watch, I can still tell you that this man is still a fake prophet. Because it's 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 all about the things that the person will be doing, you know. 
He came out, he said, Corona will come, they will go the way it came. Now, South Africa is, 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 is digging 1.2 million mass graves for people to be uh, buried. At times, it's, it's better to keep quiet than to come out and talk nonsense. Uh, I see somebody says, good day. Mind me asking if you are still friends with Nana Poku. If not, what happened? Ah, uh, well, I'm no longer friends with that guy. I'm no longer friends with him. Uh, yeah, I'm no longer friends with him. We were not friends, actually. He just used to uh, uh, talk and invite, you know, he used to invite me to his church and stuff like that. So, yeah. I decided to disassociate myself from him uh, when I started my Back to Christ journey because I believe that he's not a man of God. I believe that he's a false prophet. I believe that he's a fake prophet. Uh, I believe that uh, he's not from God, and I believe that uh, he's just here in South Africa to make money. Uh, I believe that, uh, not that I believe, but this is the truth. He's here in South Africa to make money, and uh, he's not from God. He's not of God. He has never been of God. Together with his friend uh, called Bazooka, the one, who was, uh, uh, the one who was deported from South Africa. So, yeah. That is why I disassociated myself from him. Mm -hmm. I disassociated myself from him because he is not a man of God. He is not a man of integrity. He is not a man of dignity. He sleeps with any girl that comes across. No class, no, no choice, no nothing, no dignity, no integrity. Any girl that comes across him, he sleeps with them. He sleeps with girls in his office. He sleeps with girls in his house. He sleeps with girls in hotels. It's just a mess. I, I, I said I cannot be associated with such a nonsense. I cannot be associated with such a, a, a charlatan. I can't be associated with such a, a, a stuff like this. This is where I come from. This is not how I was raised. I remember at one time, I never used to believe that these things are real. I never used to believe that these things were actually real. At one time, we were together in his office, you know. We were together in his office at, at, at one time. And then this lady walks into the office. When the lady walked into the office, uh, this guy says, uh, Nana says, no, I want to pray for you. And uh, for me to pray for you, mind you, I'm in the office. I want to pray for you because I want to pray for you. Uh, I have to anoint your vagina. Yeah, that's what he said. That's what he said. He said, I have to anoint your vagina. I said, ah, anoint vagina? How, how do you anoint someone's vagina? This, this person is coming for prayer. How does prayer connect to the vagina and stuff? And then, but he says, for me, if, if I'm lying, if I'm lying, let, let God uh, 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 kill me. By the way, when he was doing all this thing, to me, it was something that it, it came to me as a shock. And then I was sitting there with my phone. I started recording. Yeah, and I have the recording. I started recording him as he was there trying to talk to this woman. If he thinks I'm lying and if he says that maybe I'm trying to attack him, this is not an attack, but this is the truth. You know, I cannot come and say, sit here to try and attack somebody. You know, that one is not a, a man of God. I feel pity for all those who go to his church. I feel pity for all the ladies who go to his church because he sleeps with anything that works. He, anything that works. Any, any, oh, Jesus. No respect for women at all. No respect for women at all. And I said, uh uh. I cannot be associated with such nonsense. I cannot be associated with such things. So he said he wanted to anoint uh, this lady's vagina. But for him to anoint the lady's vagina, he must first of all take the oil and anoint his penis first. Anoint his penis first, then you have to insert the penis into the lady's vagina so that um, uh, the anointing can be transferred. I was recording as I was sitting down during the when he was telling all these things to the lady. Then he said, now take off your clothes. Ah, I stopped recording. I said, listen, I have to go out. I have to go out. Mm -mm. The way this thing is going, I, 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 can't, I can't handle this. I have to go out or either 
either I go out or the lady goes out. Then he said, oh, no, 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 sorry, sorry, prophet. You know, this is, sorry, no, sorry, Jay. This is, you know, it's a spiritual direction that I have to do for you. I said, mm, my friend, where I come from, we don't do such uh, spiritual directions. So, yeah. It, just in case he thinks I'm lying, you must know that uh, I have a video. And I know that wherever he is, you know, wherever he is, he's watching, he's probably watching or somebody is going to show him this video. And before he responds to what I'm saying right here, he must respond with, uh, he must respond with wisdom. Because if he responds anyhow, the video that I have, that I recorded of him telling that lady, that he wants to anoint that lady by putting his penis inside a vagina. That video, I still have it. Just in case he thinks uh, this, is a, this is a joke. So if he wants to respond to what I'm saying right now, if he wants to respond to what I'm saying right here, right now, he must respond to it and be with, he must carefully respond. Because if he responds the way that he's been responding all these other uh, days that passed, I saw him, he did a video and was saying, no, Jay, he's, 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 uh, he's, you know, he's a fool. He's, you know, I don't talk to fools. I do not, uh, you know, I don't talk to fools. I don't uh, have time for what, 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 that, that was his response. I just pardoned him. I said, this one, you must, you must, you must keep quiet already. You must keep quiet already, you know. So if he's going to respond to what I'm saying, you know, you must respond with a, and this is not a lie, by the way. Me, I don't lie about people. <laughs> Me, I don't lie about people. I've got no time to lie about people. I've got no time to lie about people. So yeah, because of um, mm -hmm. so be, be, because of what uh, he said, then I said to him, uh, 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 no, 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 my, my my friend, this is this can't happen in my presence, you know. Yeah, I said this cannot happen in my presence. This cannot happen in my presence. I will not. Uh, I will not accept such things to happen in my presence. Then he said, "Okay, it's fine. You can, you can, you can leave. You can go out." Mm. I see somebody's coming here to say pure liars. You can't even pronounce liars. You can't even say it's pure lies. It's pure lies, not pure liars. Okay, it's pure lies, and you are a woman for that. Uh, 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 for uh, on that note, you know. Which year was that man of God? That was in 2018, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. That was in 2018 when, and I think that was my last time to be, to be in his church. That was the last time to be in the church. I used to hear about these things. I never used to know that these things are actually real and these things are actually happening. Up until I saw Nana Poku doing it in my presence. You know, telling the woman that you have to take off your clothes and I have to anoint you with my penis. I said, mm. so this is real. This is real, you know. This is real. You see, so if you are coming here and you are coming to comment, you must know that I have that video. I have that video in my phone. I recorded it because I said, mm. one day when I want to tell people about these things, they will think I'm lying. I have it. I have it. I have, was it going to happen while you were there? Over my dead body. Over my dead body. Why would I allow such a nonsense thing like that to happen in my presence? Yeah. Stop wasting your bundles and focus on your future. Eh, who's wasting bundles? Is it me or you? You are on the wrong platform. You are wasting your bundles watching the wrong person. You see? Me, I'm educating people who are watching me right now. And I'm telling them that these prophetic churches that you run to, these prophetic churches that you go to, you must be very careful. Mm -hmm. You must be very, very careful. These prophetic churches that you run to, you go there, you come there, you say, oh no, I'm, I'm going, I found a true man of God. You don't know what you are doing. You don't know what you are doing. You don't know what you are doing and you don't know what is happening. So please be careful, be careful, be careful, be very, very careful, be very, very careful. Yeah, so I see somebody say they associated themselves with a bomb. <laughs> now they are exposed. Jeez. Yeah, it's a, me, I'm a bomb. I'm a bomb that is, that is uh, going to explode in a way that is going to shock people in the whole world. 
I'm a very dangerous bomb and I'm, I'm exploding. I've not yet started. I'm exploding. I am exploding. And all my explosion is for people because if these young girls come out and speak for themselves, nobody will believe them. If these young people who are being abused come out and they speak for themselves, nobody will believe them. So let me be the one to speak for them. Let me be the one to speak for them. You see? Mm. If you look at uh, Nanapoku's lips, you will know that this guy lives on weed. He's got very black lips. His lips were not like that. Those are weed lips. He smokes weed like no man's business. I'm saying this because at some point uh, back then uh, 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 when he invited me, we actually smoked some weed together. But I said, ha, I don't like the way that this weed is, you know, is uh, making my lips so dark. So, yeah, he, he smokes weed. He smokes serious weed. He's on weed. Every morning he wakes up, he smokes weed. Afternoon weed. Evening weed. Before he goes to preach weed. Before he goes online. Even right now. Go and watch his video. You will see how black his lips are. And then you say, that's a true prophet of God. I feel pity for all those who still follow this man, who still go to his church, who still uh, follow his broadcasts and everything, thinking that he's a man of God. That's not a man of God. That's not a man of God. That's a drunkard. That's somebody, that is somebody who is struggling with a, with a serious a, a problem that needs Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Shammah to come down and deliver him. Yeah. So, be liberated. Be liberated. Seek God for yourself. Seek God for yourself. Seek God for yourself. Go on your knees to pray for yourself. Go on your knees to pray. Go on your knees to pray for yourself. Don't wait for the next person. Don't wait for the next person eh, 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 to say, no, Papa is going to pray for me. No, no, no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah. I'm, at some point, eh, they were actually threatening me at some point, him and his uh, cohorts and his friends. They were threatening me at some point to say, oh, no, eh, Jay, we are coming for you. We are going to kill you. We are going to what, what, what? Nanapoku and his friends, they were threatening me, sending me threatening messages and trying to say, no, last year, sometime last year, threatening, my, threatening me in messages and stuff. Oh, we are going to kill you. you are what, what, what? You know, we are going to kill you. We are, hey, relax, chief. Hold on. Hold on, calm down. You can't kill me. You can't touch me. Not me. It will not happen here. Not me. You can try those killing things somewhere else. Not here. You can't touch me. I'm untouchable. I'm not talking about this nonsense of yours of that you lie to each other every Sunday to say, if you touch me by mistake, you die by correction. Me, you can't. <laughs> you can't. You can't. And if you think I'm lying about what I'm saying now, I will send the video to Solomon. The video of Nanapoku trying to talk to that lady there so that, uh, yeah. Because I cannot post the video on my, on my, on my platform. If it's, as soon as he responds, as soon as he responds and he says nonsense, I'll send the video to Solomon and Solomon is going to put it on his, uh, then we'll find that lady and find out whether did he manage to sleep with that lady or not. If he slept with that lady, that means it's, it's rape. The lady was raped. Because she was put under duress for sleeping with a man simply because she was thinking she's receiving anointing and will send the thief to prison. Simple. And will send the criminal to prison. Some of these pastors eh, 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 that you see, uh, I see somebody say, Jay, are you not taking weed? Uh, come on, really? Mm-mm. I am not. Look at look look at look at these lips. Not even a sign. People who take weed, they've got black lips, very black. These are not a weed kind of lips. Okay. Yeah. So 
Some of these pastors that you see standing on the altar, these are criminals. Criminals who must be locked up in prison, not people who are supposed to be preaching out there. These are criminals. Criminals. Yeah, criminals. So anyway, all those who are asking me about other prophets that I don't know, I, I will not speak about them. So guys, I want you to know God loves you. God loves you. God is with you. Wherever you are watching me from, God is with you. Let us spread this gospel. Let the gospel spread. Let's take the gospel to many nations. Let us spread this gospel and make sure uh, 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 that uh, you know the gospel gets to as many people as possible. The gospel gets to as many people as possible. And uh, yeah, so please, please let us, uh, let's make it a point that we preach. Let's set people free. There are so many people who are living in bondage right now. And most of these people who are in bondage, they are in bondage simply because of different reasons. Especially most of our South African sisters, most of our South African brothers, they are in bondage uh, because, um, uh, because these prophets will be giving them money and they, they you know they keep them with that money so let's 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 let us set them free let us set them free and uh as i'm closing mm, as i'm closing as i'm closing i want you to know that it's all about jesus it's all about christ uh, jesus or nothing that is my motto in this year 2020 jesus or nothing jesus or nothing Jesus or nothing. Jesus or nothing. So, yeah. So most of these guys that you see um, out here, most of these guys that you see out here coming out and saying uh, they are prophets and whatnot, mm. they are prophets and whatnot, they are prophets and they are prophets and what, they are prophets and stuff, you know. So they, they are not. They are not prophets, these people. They are criminals. They are criminals who must be arrested and they must be locked up in prison. These are criminals. These are criminals. These are criminals. And these criminals must be locked up in prison. So I want you to know wherever you are. I know that now that I've just spoken about another criminal from Rustenburg, that one called Nanapoku, wherever he is now, I know that one doesn't care, you know. That one does not care. He was exposed by Solomon at some point. Uh, there's a girl that they raped. They gang, they gang raped a girl together with his uh, other friends. Then after gang raping the girl, the girl went out and the girl uh, uh, wanted to get them arrested. These people, they don't care. They don't care at all. The next thing, the girl is dead. The girl was found dead. The girl is gone. You know, because of stuff like that. So they don't care. They are not, they are not, they are not, they are not born again, these people. They are not born again. Another one came out the other day and he was very drunk, sitting on a couch, live on Facebook, very drunk. And I know that this person is drunk, you know, <laughs> probably he had just taken whiskey, Hennessy. Yeah, Hennessy. And he was speaking there, very drunk. And, and, and oh, Jesus. And you see the gullible followers following blindly. Oh no, Papa is in the spirit. There's no spirit there. There's no spirit. There's no spirit. There's nothing spiritual there. He's probably drunk or no, high on some on something. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it is well. May God bless you. May God be with you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Maybe I can just bring one person. Uh, um, I can just add one person just to, um, I can just add one person just to come online, just have a small chat with you, and then afterwards I'm going offline. Jay, are you a pastor, prophet, or motivational speaker? Last question, please. Go and ask the Holy Spirit to tell you. I'm sure the Holy Spirit will give you the most accurate answer because that's a very a, a sarcastic question that you that you are trying to ask me. Okay, so I almost said go and ask your grandfather, but 
at least I respected you enough to say, go and ask the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so let me see who else, um, Hennessy or nothing in the country. <laughs> mm. Who posted that letter you posted today? It's written there. So let's see if I can add somebody. If you want me to, if you want me to add you live on this broadcast, mm. Do not judge so that God don't judge you. This is the problem we have in Africa. You are one of the biggest problems that we have in Africa. Using such, script as, uh, such uh, scriptures like this uh, uh, for nonsense, you know. You can't be telling me that uh, uh, people are out there uh, 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 raping women, stealing from innocent uh, souls, uh, 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 faking miracles. People go to church because they think what they see on TV is real. And I come out to speak and you tell me, do not judge. Take your scripture, go and sleep with your scripture, you know. Take your scripture out of this broadcast. You cannot bring such nonsense, a, 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 a misguided a misinterpretation of scriptures on this broadcast. You are the reason why the church will continue to suffer. You are the reason why the church will continue to be, to be a, 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 under such a, a oppression from these charlatans and these thieves. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so let me see what I can add online so that uh, we can just have a chat. I'm looking for one person I can add so that we can have a small chat. Then afterwards, I'm done. Okay. Ain't you get tired of speaking about locale? It's just the beginning. Is, uh, this is just the beginning. I've not even started yet. So if you are tired, you know, I release you from the broadcast. <laughs> I release you from the broadcast if you are tired. Exposing evil is part of the, is part of the assignment. It's part of the assignment. It's part of the assignment. Please, J next broadcast, the Gisa Gejo Wangwa Panajoku Mirira. I watch a mirror upon a gate, your true to the case. Ah, my tinombo, but I will mess with a noti a tinombo, couldn't get a save, but I will mess with a noti good dora, but a menu go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why don't you just explain the scripture according to your knowledge instead of being so rude? I thought you were here to teach people. I'm not being rude. I'm just responding. <laughs> I'm not being rude. I'm just responding. I'm not being rude. I'm just, I'm just responding. You know? Hmm. Anyway, so, anyway, and, um, when you get there, you don't get what you see on TV and so done. Yeah, when you get there, what you see on TV is gone. Over 5,000 comments and 200 shares. Charlatans are shaking. Definitely, they have to shake. Tomorrow, it's going to be worse tomorrow because tomorrow will be live from uh, 9 p.m. for our normal broadcasting, uh, 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 you know, for our normal broadcast. So... Yeah, we are fixing the country uh, uh, in Tobago. We are fixing the country here. Yeah. Brother Jay, would you accept an advice from fellow brothers? Definitely, definitely. Definitely. I do accept advice from brothers, from sisters, from anyone who would like to, to give advice. You know, as long as you are not advising me to stop uh, exposing these charlatans, then your advice is very much welcome. I did the retreat, but now to go to go to Rabada face. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Uh, please don't forget to bring Malaika on your next broadcast. Definitely, probably uh, on Saturday or tomorrow early before I go live, I'll bring Malaika on broadcast. Actually, on Saturday, 
so that tomorrow we just do our our normal broadcast so yeah probably in the in my next uh, broadcast that i'm going to do in the next broadcast that i'm going to do on this account uh, in my next broadcast that i'll do on this account uh, whatever that i'm going to talk about i'll try by all means you know just to bring just to name drop on a few people a few south african based pastors who i feel you know are out there to deceive people the same way i've just mentioned uh, this charlatan from rustenberg and others that i've been mentioning so i'll also in my next broadcast mention a few south african you know some who came to me and then some who um who are part of cults some who are we have done things you know some were deceiving people in different ways so yeah i'm going to i'm going to come out and speak uh, uh, and speak these things in my next broadcast i'll be name dropping on the pastors from south africa from here in south africa we have who are deceiving people who are part of cults some have come to me and some have gone to other people that i know some have traveled to places that i know and some have been to certain areas and done certain things came back to south africa to establish their churches and they're lying to people you know uh, are claiming to be from god yet they are not from god but they are in this country i believe that in my next broadcast right on this account that's i'm going to touch a bit on that as we uh, proceed and as we go forward with the movement we are not stopping at anything we are not stopping at any point. So the Lord bless you. The Lord be with you. And I want you to know that I love you so much with the love of God. Continue praying for me. Let's continue praying for each other in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, uh, up until we meet again next time, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord be with you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. From myself, J. Israel, it's a good night.